In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you what the alt attribute is in your HTML, how to use it, why to use it, and when to use it, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So we have a simple HTML page mocked up in the top here in the code. Down below, we see how it renders in a browser. And an alt attribute is always associated with an image element. So we have an image here. The value of the source is the URL to the image. And we can add in here an alt attribute. Now, alt is designed for you to give more information about the image and describe the image. It is a piece of text that a screen reader will read. And screen readers are used by people with visual impairment, so they can't see the website quite how you intend it to appear to people with normal vision. So they use screen readers. And this text also appears when the image doesn't load. So you want to make it descriptive. So I'm just going to add in here a WP Learning Lab logo. WP Learning Lab is another one of our properties where we teach WordPress. But the alt attribute, I'm just describing what the image is. So I save that. And if I refresh this page here, nothing actually changes. You have over the image, nothing appears, nothing actually changes. But for a screen reader, it will know to read this alt tag. And if your image breaks for whatever reason, for whatever reason it doesn't load, it's going to break it right now and refresh this page, that alt text is going to appear in place of the image. So here we have a little page icon with the little crack in it. That's the broken image icon. And then this is the alt text that we have typed in there. So even if the image doesn't load, people will be able to see the alt text, which describes the image. And that's how easy it is to work with the alt attributes in HTML. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.